the timing wise, you know, Samsung will benefit from the, the Huawei or the Shing uh, in this market and they will compete with new iPhone 12. Uh, but uh, clearly the, the one month earlier the launch this year, the, along with the pent up demand for the smartphone, uh, I think that the shipment for Galaxy S20 is probably about 25 uh, million last year. So the, I think there should be more than around, you know, you know, five to ten percent upside, uh, you know, from that. And do you think this is the year where investors' markets actually react to Samsung's mobile story, or is it really going to be about DRAM and the super cycle that's expected to kick off? Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, this year uh, we expect a super, uh, we can say super cycle, so uh, big, uh, you know, we, we see a big, you know, change in the semiconductor industry. So not only memory, so, uh, we expect DRAM price will recover, rebound from first quarter. And also, you know, Intel will announce it, uh, it's uh, outsourcing plan for 7 nanometer production. So the foundry uh, is another uh, big opportunity for the company and the catalyst for the stock price. Uh, and also, you know, sm uh, smartphone, uh, it was kind of a kind of concern of the company. But uh, along with uh, the pent up demand, uh, we expect the shipment growth uh, will be uh, more than 10 to 15 percent this year. So the, smart, uh, the mobile, uh, you know, earnings just also drive the earnings improvement this year.